So welcome back to CHFMF. In today's video, wait, hold on. I'm starting this off wrong. Look, we're back at it like a bad habit. If you want something better, go grab it. Say so we're back with another banger video. All right, let me get this right. Hold on. There we go. I ain't trying to look like a weirdo. Look, today's video is about coping mechanisms. All right, um, or healthy ways to cope. And I feel like people need healthier ways to cope because you know uh you know especially at my school well, I, I feel like it's had a bunch of different schools but you know there's a couple unhealthy ways people cope at my school you know mm. but uh we ain't really gonna speak on unhealthy ways well i, I guess we can so y'all can look basically when people vape or like they do a bunch of alcohol and you know they cut themselves or they try to self-harm themselves you know that's bad ways of coping and people need healthier ways to cope and i'm here to help you all out all right so basically i'm doing a little bit of research on this uh simply because i want to make this video so basically here's a list of um basically things that trigger stress and anxiety and things like that so, as you see from that list, disbelief, feelings of fear, changes in appetite, and, you know, things like changes in appetite, energy and stuff, things like that can lead to like, uh, it leads to stress and anxiety and things of that nature. So, basically, what we need to do is we need to figure out like, healthy ways to cope with things like that. So, there are five different ways um, there's five coping strategies, and I read them down on a piece of paper because I knew I was going to forget, but they're also going to be on the screen. There's a uh, problem, there's problem, emotion, social support, religious coping, and meaning making. Um, and those are uh, the five main strategies of coping, so that's where all like those are like under where hmm, these are healthy ways to cope. But first, I need to realize what strategy should I use. And these are the five strategies. The five, there's more strategies, but these are the five main strategies to that. Now, when it comes to coping and how to cope, me basically, whenever something throws me off, throws me for a loop, I try to listen to music or watch TV. Those things really help me with coping, right? And it helps me cope. Uh, whenever I'm sad, upset, mad, or whatever. But here's a list of a bunch of different ways that can help you cope. So if you see someone on this list you like that you think will help you cope, you know, then you can try that out. Or you can try a new way of coping. Like me, uh, you know, I'm, I might try working out. Uh, I usually work out every day, but I don't use it like a like a way to help me cope. I usually never use that. So I might start working out, but. Here's a list, so, no, y'all do with that as y'all please. So, that's the end of the video. Hope you all liked it. Uh, I'm sorry I'm moving. I usually like to sit down and, and do this. But uh, yeah, that's the end of it. Peace out, y'all. Yeah, get your sack right, get your sack right, yeah. Get your sack right, get your sack right, yeah. Get your sack right, get your sack right.